I'll make my way there. Hey, that's impressive. On my way. There it is. Just yank the drive and I'll do the rest. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Vodka, aftertaste the rainbow. I'm sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh. And it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. Heard of it? My orientation Aetherwave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. That's true. Yeah. I hope they're gonna be okay. That's a spacious choice, Spear. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our Consumer Care Headwear Division. Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the spacer's choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. Spacer's choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, and manta floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. 
Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all a Groundbreaker. Or anywhere in the Halcyon Colony. Trouble sleeping? Try our Lunar Eclipse Mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold guaranteed. Add an additional 10% to your purchase today and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor school only to make him wear this hat. Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Now, are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green, the future is Spearmint. You would never ask if you knew what it's like in here. I mean, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job, it may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Uh, speaking of interest, can I interest you in some quality budget goods? At Spacer's Choice, we cut corners so you don't have to. Anything and everything. Whatever you want, we got it. And when you need a replacement, we got that too. Just the opposite. Spacer's Choice items are always new, hot off the shelves, because customers just can't stop buying new stuff. Oh, sorry. I got the line wrong. Y you want me to do it again? It's a script. If I don't follow it to a T, I might lose my job. You want me to do it right? Spacer's Choice items are always new, hot off the shelves, because customers just can't stop improving their lives with our fine products. You could go broke buying overpriced Aramid gear, or you could buy from us at a much more reasonable rate. That's why you should get a backup or three, become a frequent buyer. Join our Friendship Rewards program. Program currently unapproved in Alpha, rewards and friendship pending. Uh, have a look. What do you think you're doing? Uh, just be careful next time.
Can we rent an upstairs room? We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested... How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. Our Chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Of course, most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. Making my way there. Step lively, Ms. Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh... The boot was Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. on Rutten. 
in time. Leave me in peace. You hull-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Not a peep for me. What? What's that noise? What do you think you're doing? I don't want any trouble out of you. My dad taught me some French, you know? Stuff about omelets and, uh, fromage. I could take a look at that journal. By all means. I would be astounded, yet astronomically in your debt. Oh, yeah, there's nothing at all about eggs and cheese in here. Sorry. Very helpful. Thank you. What do you think you're doing? I'm going. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient, or an oven. Just like store-bought. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. You've certainly been blessed with an abundance of sass, haven't you? But it's your interstellar currency I'm interested in, not your nethers. 
Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws, maybe I should charge you double. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Yes, dearie? Ain't that just a treat? So, you know Edna, over in engineering? On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway, and Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. So, like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck, and now they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Neither do mine, dearie. Old Gladys knows the value of good work. You'll be compensated accordingly, I can promise you that. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well... Then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets, wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is, we're cooking in our own juices here, and it's only gonna get worse. They're supposed to gather up all the heat the systems generate and vent it into space. Instead of the heat going where it ought, though, 
It seems to be blowing straight down the promenade. Weeks? I lost track. Too law damn long. Engineering. Chief June Lay Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heap. Best she can, anyway. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels, but I wish she'd hurry it up. That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief June Lay in engineering. There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. Any system you could name, June's crawled around inside and made it better. She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Too straight lace for that. Nothing you need and everything you want. This is the simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is a consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. Life is fated and unstoppable. I don't know, Mr. Victor. That seems like quite a leap. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following... Going for a stroll around the docking base? Hey there, you mind stepping back? This charming little ship's been impounded and I'm afraid I can't let you near it till it's not. I'd surely love to, but that's just not my bailiwick. You'll want to have words with our representative here from the board, Mr. Udom Bedford. His office is on the promenade. I ain't felt so much as a tepid breeze in weeks. I hope Miss Chief Tennyson gets that fix soon. Well, it doesn't smell as bad here as Edgewater's graveyard in high summer, so guess I can't complain. Either way, let's not stick around so long we all roast alive. No offense, Ms. Elson, I'm sure whatever critical problem needs fixing will get patched in time. Whew! I'm starting to feel like a sisty roast in all this armor. Have yourself a pleasant day!